Hey everyone, Sumter Eagle Dynamics, and welcome to Mozzie Monday. And the first in this series of videos is an introduction to the aircraft in early access. So, let's get started. One of the most revolutionary and effective combat aircraft of World War II, the British de Havilland Mosquito was in service with the Royal Air Force from 1940 to 1961. A brilliant and innovative design, the Mozzie left a bright and lasting mark in the history of aviation. An airframe built mostly of wood to save on scarce metal supplies earned the Mosquito the nickname the Wood Wonder. It was also known as Freeman's Folly after the air marshal who backed its production. With four 7.7mm .303 inch Browning machine guns and four 20mm .79 inch Hispano cannons, the superbly versatile fighter bomber could carry both bomber rocket payloads over long distances at high speed and deliver them with pinpoint accuracy. The Mozzie's ability to maintain a high cruising speed at high altitude made it very difficult for Luftwaffe fighters in service at the time to engage it. Early FB Mark VI fighter bombers were actually modified NF Mark II night fighters, which were originally equipped with Merlin 21 and 23 engines. In DCS you will be flying a production variant, and your aircraft will be fitted with Merlin 25 engines. As an intruder, the FB Mark VI prowled occupied France and Germany, often at night and with increasing frequency as D-Day approached. The aim was to cause maximum chaos and disruption to enemy lines of communication. Trains were a target of choice and to destroy other targets of opportunity. A favourite tactic was to linger in the vicinity of a Luftwaffe airbase, wait until the enemy aircraft were in the process of landing and shoot them down. The Mozzie Mark VI can carry up to 2,000 pounds of ordnance. The bomb bay can house either two 250 pound or two 500 pound general purpose or medium capacity short fit bombs. One 250 pound or 500 pound bomb may also be carried under each wing. If wing mounted ordnance is not required, the addition of wing drop tanks can be used to extend the aircraft's range. In 1944, its ordnance capacity was extended further to include four rocket projectiles that could be mounted under each wing. During World War II, the Mosquito was not only flown by pilots of the RAF, but included those displaced when their country was occupied, pilots from the Commonwealth. Countries include, but are not limited to, Australia, Canada, Norway and New Zealand. The Mosquito was made famous owing to its participation in daring low-level intruder raids. Some of the best examples are Operation Carthage, an attack on the Gestapo headquarters in Copenhagen, Denmark. Operation Jericho, a mission to free French resistance fighters from the Amiens prison in German-occupied France. Operation Oyster, the bombing of the Philips factory in Eindhoven, manufacturing radio tubes and valves for the German war effort during the occupation of Holland. And let's not forget the raid on the radio station in downtown Berlin, designed to coincide with Hermann Göring's speech to the German nation. In summary, the Mosquito as an airframe was probably the world's first truly multi-role aircraft. Adapting to roles in an ever-changing wartime environment such as bomber, night fighter, fighter bomber, pathfinder, anti-U-boat and shipping, V-1 interception or diver missions, and photographic reconnaissance. A true wonder that you will be able to fly in the DCS skies shortly. Join me for the next instalment of Mozzie Monday, where we'll run through the starter procedure. So, thank you for joining me, and ciao for now! <laughs>